what exactly does a pope do? Well, I'll tell you. A pope gets the name pope. It's from the Greek word father, papa. It means that he is the spiritual head of the over one billion Catholics around the world. And uh, he's been celebrated today. He was born on this day in 1936. I hope I got that date right. Um, on this day in 1936 um, in Buenos Aires. And uh, he has been at the helm of affairs at the uh, Catholic Church uh, since 2013 when uh, Benedict XVI stepped aside um, shockingly, shockingly, but <laughs> as in in our lifetime, we've never heard uh, that will be the scenario. But he did a step aside on March 13. Uh, Francis, uh, who we know as Pope Francis, um, took the realms on in March 2013. Um, well, Pope Francis has a history of um, humility service. He comes from a very humble background. And um, we know that his real name is not Pope Francis. It is the name he assumed. For every pope, yes. there is a... I was written about this last night. I'm a Catholic, on, unfortunately. Shameful that I didn't know some of these things. Um, you, you need to pick a name that will reflect uh, yes. the kind of tenor you want to lead. His birth name is George Mario Bergoglio. That's his birth name. But he chose Pope Francis to amplify his move. Pope Francis is a saint... Um, that lived many years ago, and he had this affinity with nature and animals, and he was very, very uh, humane. So those are the virtues that we see now. He's championing causes that have to, you know, do with poverty, mercy, and joy. Um, he has, he's, he is not just um, a, a newcomer. He went through the process. He was yes. at one time in his life a janitor. Yes, he was. Uh, he was also a bouncer at a club. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, who, I, I don't know his actual size in person, mm -hmm. but he, I, I usually think that you have to be really big. He's pretty big. To be uh, Maybe when he was bouncer. younger, he probably was a little bigger. He probably shrunk over, the, over time, but <laughs> <laughs> he was a bouncer. And, and then, like you said, you know, he, he, was, he took the name Francis after uh, St. Francis of Assisi. Um, long ago. And of course, uh, some other thing that I will quickly mention, um, he um, was expected to become Pope right after the death of um, maybe the world's most famous Pope, uh, Pope uh, John Paul II. So right after his death, uh, Pope Francis was meant to become Pope, but, you know, shockingly, uh, Pope Benedict was eventually uh, nominated. And then after he re retired, shockingly, to the rest of the world, he then, of course, took that position um, as a pope, and it's been it's been a pretty interesting run that he has had as pope. There's been a lot of controversy. I remember a couple of years ago. He's um, making some he, really bold and controversial yes, he moves. Is. If you remember, you know the video uh, where he smacked the hand of uh, mm -hmm. of someone not long ago, and then had to apologize. Um, and said, you know, that every now and then, of course, he also loses his temper, or loses he's his cool. He's a human being. Um, he's also been vocal, you know, about the possibility of uh, changing the the laws of celibacy uh, for priests, you know, um, and the idea that uh, even married men can become priests. Priest. Uh, so he, well, he's, he's been I, part of I, I hope that one gets some, you know, mileage in his time because uh, yes. uh, the controversy continues. It's a natural instinct uh, that has to be suppressed in the service uh, to humanity. Well, the coincidence here is President Muhammad Buhra Hari, our very own president, was also born on this day in Daura Katsin Estate. Uh, he grew in Daura Katsin Estate most of his life and his early education um, was there. He is a famous, I must say, uh, Nigerian leader. He has ruled this country as a military uh, personnel yes. and as a civilian uh, um, president. president. Um, some things I'd like to highlight about our president's um, uh, uh, personality is um, his incorrigible nature that seems to have held <laughs> held sway in getting him into the uh, position of president. Uh, his, his, his efforts when he was appointed as a military ruler. I also want to highlight this morning that the president was at one point the governor of Boronu State. Not a lot of persons might be aware of that, but he was... Um, 
the governor, what they called it then was North Eastern State. That is now Boronu State. Yes. Um, he was also appointed uh, Federal Commissioner for Petroleum Resources by the then administration of Olusegun Obasanjo. And then for three consecutive um, uh, three consecutive times, he tried, attempted to be a president uh, in 2003, in 2007, in 2011, and then eventually he got the mandate. Yes. Um, something must be said for his persistence, yeah, even course, though we're not you know, seeing uh, some of that now. With different political parties, you know, in 2003 and 2007, it was with the ANPP. In 2011, he ran um, on the, the CPC. Um, and then eventually won it, um, you know, with, with the merger of these political parties uh, as the APC in 2015. Um, it's also very interesting, you know, to note that there's a lot of a lot of things that he's known for. If you you know click on his page on Wikipedia, there's so much information um, starting back from 1983, you know, the Shehu Shagari, um, you know, drama, yeah, yeah. Um, and then also when uh, General uh, Ibrahim Babangida then also, you know, overthrew um, uh, him in 1985. Um, so he had those two years. There was a you know a lot of policies you know from that era that a lot of people can say oh you know we're bringing back that same uh, or those you know similar policies um, in uh, 2020 um, today. So yeah, some other things that he's known for, as people have also mentioned, is his peculiar style of leadership. <clears throat> Um, Ratimi Amici was. I have something in my throat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ratimi Amici was quoted as saying that he's uh, he's shy. Uh, he's why, why do you always laugh when I say I have something in my throat? I'm, I was coughing. I he's, actually have something in my throat. He's uh, shy, according to uh, uh, Ratimi Amici. So we're celebrating the president today, even as he holidays in Daura and spends some time to relax with uh, family, um, and of course um, his well. Kato. Happy birthday to President Muhammad Buhari and the Catholic Big Daddy talking about Pope Francis. Okay, well, we still have something today that happened today in history. Aside from the birth of these two great men, something exciting and beautiful also happened. If you fly, well, today in 1903, if I'm correct, yes, in 1903, uh, we had the first flight carried out by two brothers. Yes, indeed. Wilbur and Orville. Uh -huh. the, those were their names. They're called, they're popularly known as the Wright Brothers. Um, I, for a long time, you know, I never really knew what they looked like, you know, and I, I'm not sure why a little part of me felt that they were black. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> know why. Biased. I just always imagined that they were black, you know, maybe because of the names. Um, but yeah, Wilbur and uh, Orville, where they made the very first controlled, sustained flight of a powered, heavier than air aircraft. Um, today, in 1903, somewhere in North Carolina, um, it only flew for about 12 seconds. Um, and that was um, about 120 feet that it covered. And then they, of course, continued with their testing and with their trials, uh, had another flight that uh, flew for about 59 seconds. And uh, then, of course, kept working, kept developing their aircraft. Uh, by 1905, they were able to fly an aircraft for 39 minutes. And uh, further, in 1908, they traveled to France and made their very first public flights. Um, and in my mind or in my head, I'm thinking... What on earth were they thinking as far back as 1903? Let me help you. He wrote to one of the people that helped with the research at the time who was, they, they know that it is possible. They just haven't figured it out. Yes. It became an obsession. He wrote to them, and I'm going to quote what he wrote. For some years, I have been afflicted with the belief that flight is possible to man. My disease has increased in severity, and I feel that it will soon cost me an increased amount of money, if not my life. So for real invention to happen, as phenomenal as flight, you know, yes. when, you, when you see the massive size of an aeroplane as an ordinary person who don't understand the engineering that goes into that, you are amazed. You begin to think that man has some affinity, well, godlike anyway. He yes. created us in his image if we're to believe what the Bible says. Um, you are amazed. So this kind of fervency, this kind of intensity, obsession is what brings inventions like this. And yes, that's what just basically explained it. That it will either take his life or he must get yeah. a plane out there. And the U.S. Army saw potential um, in them and invested and signed a contract with it, I think, in 1908. 
and their first military flyer was successfully tested in 1909. So kudos to the two brothers, um, rights that allowed us to uh, be able to fly from place to place and have all the fun that we have today. We have it easy, really. It's, this um, generation has so much easier life than the people in the past. There's still, there's still a lot of people who are still um, very passionate about inventing and mm -hmm. about making life better. Uh, there's, you know, people who have championed the idea of living in, in space or living, you know, out, out of Earth. Um, of course, um, what's his name? I can't remember. SpaceX, um, that guy. Uh, so, <laughs> there, you know, and, and numerous others, you know, who have uh, taken it upon themselves. We have young, we have some of them in, been captured uh, on Plus TV Africa. Yes. Young boys who yes. found a way to, you see them getting uh, water out of air. That's the, the, I think I saw that video the other day and I was like, People are creative, people are gifted, and we should try not to underestimate people and judge them based on, you yes. know, first impression. You know, one of our colleagues was leaving the other day, and I was like, the first time I saw her, I was like, you're a snob. Who is this snob that's working in here? And then, before you know it, everything changes. So people have innate potential that on the surface might not be obvious until you see them at work. Yeah. Today in history, celebrating all the achievements today gave us two great men the pope and president muhammad buhari however you look at his failings he is a great man and the history of nigeria cannot be told without his name being mentioned at some point absolutely and of course we got our flight today i hope that was informative for you we're going to break Hello. And hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates